the initiative for the creation of the Africa Governance Institute, AGI, emerged in 2003 from discussions between the chairman of the Commission of the African Union, AU, and the regional director for Africa of the United Nations Development Program, UNDP. The structure of the institute is a very straightforward one. It has a governing council of eminent Africans uh, drawn from different regions of the continent uh, on the basis of uh, uh, the representation of each of the five sub-regions of the continent. Uh, it's uh, eminent to the extent to which it is composed of people who have distinguished themselves in public service either within their countries or across the continent or indeed in the course of international assignments. The need of an African vision of governance produced by Africans, the need of a Pan-African think tank who can uh, produce innovative thinking in the way to uh, uh, resolve the issues of governance in Africa. And the third one is the need of a platform who can, be, uh, who can synergize different initiatives in governance in Africa. There is a sense in which, uh, by the dawn of the new millennium, one could in fact argue that no uh, other continent uh, or region of the world uh, has undergone as much uh, governance scrutiny in the process of its development mm -hmm. as the African continent. Uh, was exposed to, and yet much of what was discussed uh, with regards to the parameters of governance, to the standards of governance, and to the uh, indicators of what was generally referred to as good governance came from outside of the continent. Uh, the AGI was established uh, to help to remedy this situation. We, we work in close partnership with many institutions, First amongst this is the African Union, uh, but we also have partnerships that we have developed with um, partnerships that we have developed with other institutions that are very strong in governance, particularly the African, uh, the, the United Nations Development Program, the African Development Bank, and the Open Society, which is you know is a, an NGO like like AGI. So there, there are several of these, and of course we have the bilateral partners. Uh, who, who bilateral multilateral partners who, who continue to be very much interested in the issues of, of, of governance in Africa. And increasingly, you know, they see um, uh, the role that um, AGI can, that can play, and we partner with them for, 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 across all the activities that we do, be it on the debates and uh, dialogue that we do the terms around governance, on the publications and the research work that we do. So all the, all the various activities we are involved in. It is vital that we have this, this partnership because the, the, the more synergy we create, you know, the better it is for this continent to be able to build up and support and drive and create and create this challenge for us. The Regional Bureau for Africa requested the Oslo Governance Center of UNDP to organize a consultation on the creation of the institute which would examine the overall role of governance in the context of Africa. Professor Georges Nzongola Talaja, then outgoing director of the Oslo Governance Center, was appointed to serve as a full-time facilitator for the establishment of AGI. This institution is uh, uh, a, a very useful institution on the continent uh, because it needs our solutions to be uh, to be uh, from African people not being imported from outside because if it is imported it won't work and that is what is happening since uh, um, since our the independence of African countries we bring solutions from outside and those solutions won't work because not taking into account the specificities of um, uh, African uh, countries, African people, African traditional and informal institutions um, that are uh, daily dealing with uh, governance issues. Uh, I really think that uh, AGI is very well organized uh, when uh, uh, they have uh, activities. 
well organized because uh, they always send you a concept note. You always have the information on time. Uh, they share all information with you. They do the follow-up. Uh, they send you the, the training modules after the training sessions. So I think it's a, a very positive aspect. Defined by the Moldovan Foundation. Maybe you look at that uh, basically from four four hundreds in the issues of security and uh, rule of law, the issues of participation, and then um, the uh, issues around human well being. And um, Africa is broad. So these challenges are situated in this in these four pillars. And uh, as you said, it varies from country to country, but you know, we have to deal with these issues in an uh, optimal manner. Um, but, uh, Africa is doing its, its best to do so. It involves the uh, establishment of a code of conduct. Uh, for civil services across the continent. It includes a charter for the delivery of services to citizens. Uh, it involves the decentralization of local governance, uh, including the establishment of uh, a charter between citizens and local authorities in terms of the minimum expectations which people could have. These are all aspects of the governance architecture. Uh, which are in the making and for which the AGI has specific program components in which it carries out training, in which it undertakes dialogues, in which it undertakes advocacy and in which sometimes it simply undertakes sensitization activities. To tackle major issues of governance which the African continent faces, AGI's approach is inductive. AGI concentrates on substantial issues led by indigenous demand of African states, the African Union, regional and sub-regional organization, African civil societies, private sector, diaspora, and partners concerned by developmental governance in Africa. To propose operational solutions, AGI has three methodological elements, methodological pluralism, the operationality of the perspective and comparatism. Um, when I started in 2009, my main task kit was to support the implementation of the online documentation center. Um, and my, uh, I was doing research, uh, I helped in the formalization and the operationalization of the online documentation the online documentation center and my task evolve according to HI development. I study global economics and management so um, AGI working towards development in Africa I think it's just it fits perfectly to what I'm trying to do because later on I'll also I want to continue with international development so everything that AGI does in terms of good governance, in terms of research, is really useful to what I'm doing. Because we have several activities. We have the AGI Friday. Um, um, in the framework of the AGI Friday, we gather um, consultants in one topic, mm -hmm. one governance topic, and we discuss on this, on this topic. So, um, in my portfolio, I have to make the list of the, the experts in that governance issue and um, send them an invitation in order to, ha to gather all these consultants in order to, to, um, um, to have their view on that issue. And after that, we put it on a template on an AGI template, and we 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 disseminate this this um, this information we gather as policy brief. We facilitate debate and dialogue around these issues. 
at different levels, you know, continental wise, we, uh, we do it at the sub regional level, we, um, we do it also at the national level. So that you know, together we, we, um, we determine what is the role of others, what are the challenges, how do we overcome these challenges. So ADI is, uh, is a catalyst in this process. We also work very closely with other partners who are involved in this area, but particularly the African Union, which really is our continental organization. Um, but we um, also work at the sub region level, the sub region institution, the national government, the civil society. Because we think you know, everything starts with, with um, getting a consensus of what, what the issues are, what the challenges are. And AGI is very good at doing that. Uh, they need to, to organize more training sessions mm -hmm. in Africa and uh, make it mixed with, between uh, Anglophone, Francophone. Uh, I knew that they did it uh, in the West African uh, part. Maybe they need to do it in East Africa, Central Africa, Southern Africa. and need to share uh, uh, people, uh, agent with uh, uh, different culture, mm -hmm. uh, different culture. And uh, what I also like that uh, they make you always know about uh, African missions, African, uni uh, uh, African Union missions, African Union objectives. So, as a perspective, I think uh, ADI can be a, a very good Pan-African uh, Institute. We will continue to, to perform the duties expected of us by building better partnership. But I want to particularly single out the type of relationship we are building with the African Union. As I said, this is a fundamental institution. And AGI, AGI really wants to be uh, a special partner of the African Union. We want to be uh, an instrument at the disposal of the, of the African Union so that the challenges identified, you know, the activities that the AGI, the, that the African Union was going to take, they can always use um, the, uh, the, uh, the AGI you know, to move the second forward to have the implementation dialogue and the debate. So in the long run, we will become more and more an agent of the African Union. The AGI will continue to combine the functions of both forum and source of information and ideas, as well as being a mechanism for strengthening governance and governance institutions in Africa. For more information, please visit AGI website www.iag-agi.org